how do you see yourself using aviation to give to other people or better other lives other than getting them to their vacations yeah, on time getting once them to you're their ATP, vacation right? spot but yeah. yeah i for me i mean like i've taken several friends up and people who have never been flying at all and it's just seeing them seeing their face light up when they you know when you lift off the ground it's pretty cool even this is just a small plane but they look down and you know from 50 or 100 feet as you start climbing and it's just really cool to see people uh, get that experience so. yeah. All right, so tell us who you are, and uh, we're going to learn a little bit about your avi aviation story today. Cool. Okay, well, uh, my name is Ryan Austin, and I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I just flew up here this morning in uh, 172, a 1981 Cessna 172P. Um, I got my private pilot's license last July, uh, July of 2020, just right after the ACAs last year. So, um, and, and I did that at El Dorado Airport in Kansas, close to Wichita. Um, my kind of intro to aviation was through my dad who was in the military. He was an Air Force uh, B-1 and KC-135 pilot. He retired from the Air Force and he quit flying in the Air Force in 2000, um, 2008, I believe, and then he retired in 2000, um, uh, 2016 and he flies for American Airlines now based in Dallas. So, um, and he, well, he started flying for American while he was in the military on, in the Guard, but he's, uh, that's his full time thing now. But, uh, so I've kind of always been exposed to aviation from, um, from a young age and I never really have had any interest other than aviation, so that's kind of where I hope to go with a career, hopefully something commercially. Um, and I got my private, so the first step is done. So. so about a year in with your private license, how many hours have you got now? I have, as of my landing here today, 88 hours. So. 88 hours, and you came from Wichita? Yep. Or uh, El Dorado area? El Dorado, yep. Okay, so. and uh, so did you fly by yourself? I did, I flew, okay. flew by myself three and a half hours, stopped in uh, Canic. What, what, Keokuk. Keokuk, Iowa. Yep, we were just talking <laughs> about Keokuk. So. Pronunciation help here from somebody a little bit closer than Iowa. geography <laughs> lesson. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Um, so that's cool. What else have you done with your life lately? I mean, I saw you in a cap and gown not yeah, too long ago. Yeah. Uh, well, um, uh, graduated from high school just last um, in May, and then I'm going to be going to Oklahoma State University next month to uh, be in their aviation program there. So Go folks. <laughs> that's right. Go folks. My associate <laughs> is an OSU grad, awesome. so we got a lot of orange around our offices, too. That's good. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> aviation program, <laughs> hopefully a professional pilot, which is one of my questions. I always ask people, mm -hmm. do you fly for fun or do you want to do it for a living? I think I want to do it for a living. Yeah, that's sure. kind of always been where I want to go with it. So. Do you think big brand or do you think commercial corporate or uh, I, spray I, pilot? What you do you know, think? I've gotten enough exposure to the airline life. I know the the, the challenges and and the, the the pluses and the minuses. I think I want to go to the airlines. So okay. we'll cool. see. Cool. Very uh -huh. good. Um, so, uh, are you working on any other endorsements or how? I'm, you, how you I'm right now. I'm just kind of pausing until I get to OSU, and then uh, I'll start my instrument training there and go on through commercial. Um, and once I finish there, I'll have hopefully if uh, in, within three years or so uh, instrument, and then commercial, multi, and. Uh, be a flight instructor, possibly instrument instructor, and then um, you just kind of build your hours until you or get that ATP time, 1,500, or 1,000 actually. Yeah, 1,000 so. now with the commercial yep. uh, programs. Right. Yep. So cool. So uh, you're, you're flying in a rented airplane right now. Yeah. Yep. Does so. your family have any airplanes or uh, how do you guys? No, we don't own any aircraft right now. We just rent every now and then. So okay. I rent the most and then sometimes uh, they come along, so. Yeah. Uh, what about other, you mentioned your dad, he flies uh, professionally. Any other bu people in uh, got the bug in your family? Or well, um, kind of, both of my grandfathers on both my mom's and my dad's side were, uh, my dad was a, or my grandfather on my mom's side worked at several airlines, Braniff, TWA, all those ones that are gone now, but yeah. Ozark. Um, Just absorbed. Yeah, they all move up, yeah, merge into something else. But um, And then my other grandfather still owns an instrument company so he um, sells it and re uh, they do refurbishment and uh, repair on instruments and they kind of ship them out all over actually all over the world so Century Instrument Corporation he still owns that oh, he's yeah. in his 80s now so still he'll probably be selling that off pretty soon. Keeping the steam gauges going that's right. for those got, of us somebody that needs them. <laughs> yeah I need them in my in my training plane so exactly. yeah absolutely so, yeah. cool so Ryan uh, really excited to have you here saw you last you. year at yep. the ACCA's down in Kansas so got the, uh, <laughs> got the shirt, the shirt yeah. Yeah, got the Clemens <laughs> Aviation uh, you know it's, it's a really cool thing to to see uh, the number of businesses and the people who have like Glenn just offers us a ride yeah. uh, so you're gonna see a video filmed inside the Electra here yeah. on uh -huh. our channel um, and you got to ride it last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, so many people give so much back. There's a private jet out here that flew in just yep. to be part of the show to show people, hey, I have this and I flew it here. So thanks to Mr. Briggs. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. 
I mean, I always heard about what a great community aviation is, and I didn't really fully recognize what, yeah. it's, what it is until I started doing this kind of stuff. So, so uh, a question I, I ask some of our interviewees is, um, mm -hmm. how do you see yourself using aviation to give to other people or better other lives, other than getting them to their vacations yeah, on time getting them once to you're their ATP, vacation right? spot. But yeah, yeah I, for me, I mean, like I've taken several friends up and people who have never been flying at all, and it's just seeing them, seeing their face light up when they, you know, when you lift off the ground, it's pretty cool. Even this is just a small plane, but they look down and, you know, from 50 or 100 feet as you start climbing, and it's just really cool to see people uh, get that experience, so, yeah. because it's a whole nother, yeah. spread the love. Whole nother dimension. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, you're watching Father Daughter Flights. He's Ryan Austin. Go hit that subscribe button. <laughs> and now you know.